Hi, my name is Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor for MCAT Self Prep. And today, I am excited to tell you how I was able to score in the 99th percentile in the MCAT without spending thousands on a test prep company. I'm going to walk you through the five steps that will get you a high MCAT score. They are one, set a goal, two, make a plan, three, practice, four, review effectively, and five, sprint to the finish. But before I walk you through these five essential steps, I want to tell you a little bit more about my MCAT prep experience. As I was trying to decide how I was going to get ready for the MCAT, I felt extremely conflicted. Many of my good friends had already signed up for a local MCAT prep program and seemed to be well on their way toward a great MCAT score. As for myself, however, I didn't want to spend the thousands upon thousands of dollars that this program required. I also didn't want to study 20 hours a week during the semester according to the rigid study schedule dictated by this prep program. After all, I wanted to maintain my grades, finish accruing needed shadowing hours, and still have a life. Yet, at the same time, I felt sold on the idea that I needed to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars in order to get the top score I dreamed of. After thinking about it a little bit more, I finally decided that I just didn't have the bandwidth to take the course, and I set about studying for the exam on my own. It was challenging and stressful at times, but eventually I was able to achieve my dream score, the 99th percentile. After getting my score back, I decided to become an MCAT tutor. I received a job offer from one of the major test prep companies, but ended up turning down the opportunity. Why? Because I saw the outrageous prices they were going to be charging my students. I thought to myself, I could offer a much better service for a much better price. So I decided to start the 99th percentile tutoring company, MCAT Self Prep. The goal of MCAT Self Prep is to help students prepare in the best possible way for the best possible price, offering packages at a fraction of the cost offered by mainstream prep companies. In order to help our students prepare in the best possible way, we analyzed the experiences of over 50 students that scored between the 95th and 100th percentile and looked for patterns in their preparation. Our analysis revealed that these five keys to MCAT success are the reason I and so many other students were able to get top scores on the new MCAT. You don't need to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars on a test prep company to get the score you want. If you'll just implement these principles the very best that you can, you will get the score you want. In this video, I want to briefly outline each one of these keys and help you see that a top score is within your reach. First of all, you need to set a goal. If you don't have a solid MCAT goal, you will have no direction in your MCAT studying. Here are a few things that you will want to consider as you make your MCAT goal. What does an MCAT score mean? What is a good MCAT score? What MCAT score do I need in order to get into the caliber of school that I want to go to? The whole first chapter of our Crushing the MCAT guidebook answers these three questions in depth. Get instant access now by going to our website. After you set your goal, you will need to make a detailed plan that, if followed, will result in attaining your goal. This is the most important step in your preparation. Making a good MCAT plan consists of four simple steps. Number one, figuring out how much time you need to devote to studying. Number two, understanding what tools are available to help you succeed. Number three, deciding which tools you are going to use. Four, making a study timeline. When it comes to step one, a good rule of thumb is to study between 200 and 1,000 hours. The amount of time that you personally need to study is dependent on several factors, like your goal MCAT score, your GPA, and how much time you realistically have available to study for the MCAT. The reason you should decide on a study timeline is that it will help you know how much time to study each week. If you're in school, it can also help you know how many hours to study during the semester versus during the summer break. It can also help you decide on a realistic MCAT date. Next, you will need to know what materials 
are the best ones available to help you succeed. I won't go into huge detail on this now, but just know that there is no reason to spend thousands of dollars on materials from the major test prep companies. We show the students that tutor with us how to get all of the materials they need for less than a few hundred dollars. You can schedule your first free session with one of our top 99th percentile tutors on our website. Our packages start at just $299. In summary, most students that do on the MCAT tend to use a variety of low-cost resources. After you decide which materials to use, you will want to decide on your study timeline. I think it is a good idea to break up your study timeline into both a general and a specific timeline. For the general timeline, simply divide your total study period into a few different phases. For instance, phase one during winter semester, phase two during winter break, phase three during the spring semester, and phase four during the summer break. And then decide how many hours you will study during each of those four phases. Then each week, make your specific study timeline for the upcoming week. Outline exactly what you will do each day of the week. For more help making your study plan, request more information on our Crushing the MCAT guidebook or sign up for your first free session with one of our top 99th percentile tutors. They can help you make a personalized study plan that will guarantee you MCAT success. The third key to getting the score you want is practice. The MCAT doesn't test you on your ability to memorize thousands of random concepts. Rather, it expects you to be able to use those concepts to solve problems in a logical manner. Once again, there is no reason to spend tons of money on practice problems. We help our students take advantage of thousands of low-cost and even free practice materials. And we only recommend using the practice problems that were produced by the AAMC, the writers of the actual MCAT exam. One of the best aspects of our tutoring program is that our tutors craft their tutoring sessions around your needs. If you are struggling to solve a practice problem, our top tutors can walk you through it step by step and teach you how to conquer a similar problem in the future. This way, you will be milking every practice problem for all it is worth. And effective practice is what sets top scores above the rest. The fourth key is to review effectively. In a typical college class, most students are able to get by with a very simple strategy for review, usually entailing taking notes and reviewing them once or twice before taking the exam. Because the MCAT covers such a vast amount of material, you are going to need a much more advanced and organized review strategy. Our 99th percentile tutors will walk you through a review strategy employed by the best of the best. The final key to your MCAT success is sprinting to the finish. This simply means making the most of your final month of MCAT preparation. The final month can be extremely stressful unless you plan it out extremely carefully. And during the final month, you're going to want to make your MCAT studying a full-time effort. Our Crushing the MCAT guidebook will walk you through the do's and the don'ts of the final month, including how to be confident and calm on test day. So there you have it. Everything you need for MCAT success summed up in five simple principles. They are easy enough to understand, yet hard to implement effectively. Our tutoring program will help you stay on track toward reaching your MCAT goal. And the best part is that all of our tutoring is done online, on your schedule. You don't have to meet once a week or even once a month. You schedule the tutoring sessions when you need them. With packages starting at just $2.99, why not give it a try? After all, the MCAT is the most important test you will ever take, so you might as well give it your best effort. Go to our website now to request our weekly MCAT tips. Also, request your first free chapter of our Crushing the MCAT guidebook and your first no obligation tutoring session. We look forward to speaking with you and helping you get a top score on the MCAT.